I'm Matthew E. White, and I live here in Richmond, Virginia. I lived in a house with a band, and then we um, moved. We, we had to move, and we were looking for a place where we could record, and, and really a place to practice. This is FaceTime Studios, and this is the uh, engineering room. I suppose we have a half-inch tape machine, and a, you know, board here, analog board, and some other stuff. As a kind of middle school and high schooler, I had been into some bands that were VCU graduates, and so I was. Uh, I just sort of lo looked at the school as a as an exciting place and a place where I could learn to be better at, at what I wanted to do. You know, just playing music. Professor Garcia had a class where you had to just do like a project, some sort of like real world type project. And so I uh, I booked a tour for the for the class, which was. Sort of the first thing like that I had done on my own. Um, went up north a little bit and then went to Kentucky and came back. It was really crazy to think about, actually. It was really fun, it was really fun. It was like seven days, I think we were gone a week and played music for people and they listened and they paid occasionally and um, it was just fun. Patchwork was a an organization I started to promote original music in Richmond and experimental music and and uh, things like that and it was a way to create a basic economy for for music a lot of people that around then 2003 2004 that sort of made a decision to stay here and to not very, very talented people that made a decision to stay here and say hey we can make something special here um, and there's a lot of us and you know, that can have a lot of different faces, a lot of different meanings, but but we can make something here together. And Patchwork was part of that. Um, there was a lot of other things that were happening then too. So that's all kind of grown and grown and grown. And, you know, Space Bomb is sort of the, for me, the what I see as sort of the final incarnation of that process. Space Bomb is about exporting Richmond product and like the skill sets that are represented here. Releasing the record and having it do what it did was the best thing that could have ever happened to Space Bomb, but in, to be truthful, like we, we aren't totally prepared for that kind of thing. That was a, uh, a sort of mega success for a very small label who are not music business professionals by any stretch of the imagination. We're kind of weighing what to put out next, you know? I mean, there's a, there's a delicate story to tell. We're trying to get the most we can, squeeze the most we can out of this because it's not it's such a rare thing. We don't know if anything like this is going to happen again or soon. So that's the first priority. And then I have the opportunity to tour really around the world to, to, and sort of be an ambassador for what Richmond is musically and what Space Bomb is musically. And, and uh, that's sort of a priority too. They know about a veil. Everyone knows about a veil. It's crazy. It's like, oh, I'm from Richmond, a veil. It's like happens everywhere in the world I go, which is great. Um, it's, it's awesome. It's funny, but it's awesome. And, uh, but yeah, it's an opportunity for me to talk about Richmond. Every, I mean, I do it every time I go on stage. I tell people like, hey, this is a unique place. And I really believe that. I believe that Richmond right now is a unique place in the world. It's not just a uh, cool town, with cool school, or there's some like, you know, cool stuff going on. It is unique. And I, and I mean, in the way that that, that we're using it in the sense that there are musicians here and a group of musicians that are, you don't find this other places. Mm -hmm.